Today, I want to provide a simple solution to a common problem we face when using buttons in Blazor Web applications. For example, let's take a look at this button. When a user presses the button, it stays active by default. There are two main issues here. First of all, the user might press the button multiple times and depending on the action behind the button, this will lead to issues further down the road. And second, it's generally bad user experience if the user of your application doesn't know if the button was pressed or not. A simple solution to that problem is to disable the button while the computation happens in the background. However, this is simple said and a little bit more complicated to implement, but I will show you a simple solution that I use in my Blazor web applications. First of all, let's take a look at the code used to create this button. We have a simple HTML button tag with the type of button and we use a few bootstrap classes to make the button look great. We also define an onclick handler and use the add method defined in the code section of this page component. I also defined a counter property and initialize it with the value zero. Whenever a user presses the button, the add method is executed and the counter value is increased by one. As you can see here, whenever the user presses the button, the counter variable increases by one. However, when I repeatedly press the button, we can see that there is no visual feedback and every time I click the button, it stays the same. The first thing that comes to mind is using the disabled property of the HTML button element. Here I define the is adding to cart property of type pool and bind it to the disabled property in the template section of the component. Whenever the add method is executed, I first set the is adding to cart property to true, then perform the action before I set the property back to false. However, when I test the application again and press on the button on the right side of the screen, you can see that the counter increases, but there is still no visual feedback to the user whenever I press it. Let's find out why that's the case and what we can do about it. When we remember how Blazor components work, we know that if we make a change within the code, we need to use the state has changed method. However, when changing the state of a component inside a click handler, the state has changed method will be called inside the framework because they assume a change to the component state will be performed and therefore the component needs to be re-rendered. However, in this case, everything inside this add method is executed synchronously. What that means is that we first set the variable to true then we increase the counter by one and set the value back to false again without a single re-rendering has happened in between. Another issue here is that we simply increase the counter by one, which is an execution that will be performed in a few nanoseconds or milliseconds at most. So we could technically add a thread sleep in here But this wouldn't change anything because the code still runs synchronously and therefore the first time we set the property to true will never trigger a re-render of the component. We still have the same issue. Now, what's the solution to this problem? Well, I said it multiple times that this code runs synchronously and that's the issue here. So we better work on how to turn this method into an asynchronously executed method. Let's say we want to wait about 500 milliseconds whenever the user presses a button. Now let's turn the add method into an async method. And next let's replace this line and replace it with something that runs asynchronously. Also, let's increase the counter value after we waited for this delay. We now have an asynchronously implemented add method. 
when the add method is executed, we immediately set the property is adding to cart to true and then asynchronously await the task delay for 500 milliseconds. In this period, the Blazor component will be re-rendered and the is adding to cart state will be considered when rendering the button as a disabled button. After the 500 milliseconds has passed, the counter variable is increased by 1. We also set the is adding to cart variable back to false and the component is re rendered again, enabling the button. Let's see how that works when we launch the application again. Now, whenever I press the button add to cart, you can see that the button is disabled for about 500 milliseconds before the counter is increased and the button is enabled again. Of course, this example is very simplified and you probably will perform a backend operation instead of simply adding a plus one to a counter variable. Let's see how that changes the code. I already prepared a card service and inject an instance of the card service at the top of this component. Let's say we want to add a component to the card service whenever we press the button. I quickly change the implementation to look like this. Again, we immediately set the is adding to cart variable to true before awaiting the cart service dot add to cart method to complete. Depending on how long this operation performs, we might want to still add some kind of delay to make it apparent to the user and to provide a better visual feedback that the button has actually been pressed. Maybe 500 milliseconds are a bit too much here, but you might still want to add 50 or 100 milliseconds delay if the backend is very performant and you can still almost not see the visual feedback on the screen. It's up to you. After that, we still add the counter variable to change the state of this component and we set the is adding to cart property back to false. Let's see that in action as well. And as you can see, whenever I press the button, we still have the same effect as before with the task delay and now with the card service add to card method call. So what did we do to solve the issue of disabling a button whenever a user presses it inside a Blazor web application? First of all, we turned our clink handler into an asynchronous method. And second, we utilize the task.delay method to add a delay whenever the user presses the button before we turn the state back to enabled. And third, we also used the isAddingToCart property to indicate the state and to mount it to the disabled property of the button. Now, what do you think of this simple solution to handling button clicks in Blazor web applications? Please let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about .NET development, including Blazor, consider subscribing to this channel and I will see you in the next video.